Come on to my house, my house, come on. I'm gonna give you candy. <laughs> Hello, friends. I'm Lisa Grau, your ascended master guru of Kundalini Yoga and Enlightenment. Used to be honest, I'm a very grounded person who checks everything on practice. What I know regarding the ways how to quit depression in several days. Because I was suffering from depression all my life, as you know. And I keep on going in the same uh, logic. I'm sharing only what is valuable for me at this concrete moment of time. Because we are evolving, we are changing. I believe that everyone who is on my channel is also an open-minded person and allows all uh, information to be, except the world with all its severity. Um, if I would be a god, I would definitely choose a lot of experiments, a lot of life scripts for different bodies. From my avatar, Lisa Grell, <laughs> Elizaveta, or how you call me, now, I have my certain path, and I'm very glad that my way somehow influences on development of other people. I hope that you made my last pranayama, Ungali pranayama, and felt a little bit touched, at least this high state of consciousness that we are striving for. Why? Not for nothing. Because my life before the Enlightenment was hell. This is like the straight meaning of the word. And I think that no matter what goals you um, have in life, your mission, your interests, we all have the one goal to awaken. And the reality, as we see, tries to awaken us each day, shakes us. It often gives us situations that seem unbearable for us, but only for one purpose, to make us connected with who we really are, to change your perception. I'm a very practical person of Virgo sign. I'm more grounded even than I was thinking. And all my life, I was asking a lot of questions uh, because I'm very curious at the same time, and Aquarius influenced in my star chart a lot, uh, as astrologists explained. Um, and I was asking many questions uh, on how I can achieve my goals and why I feel depressed, why I feel low energy. And on my way, I found some tools which keep on helping me to go where I want to be. Gradually, as you see, I'm preparing you for the major topic of today's talks. And this is not eating, breatharianism, or very, very rare food intakes, which I'm practicing gladly now. For what, for why, and so on, I will explain. Just give me a chance uh, to look at this um, topic from the different, not fanatical, radical aspect, but through the probability of different variants of our lifestyles, okay? Oh, so, um, to be honest, I experienced little crisis on, on my channel. Mm, I love Kriyas. I'm gladly sharing them. If you are bored with my 100 free videos, you can always pay only $30 a month and get access to exclusive practices meditations. I will be definitely keep on releasing exclusive practices. Um, but as I cured myself with Kundalini Yoga Enlightened, um, I was enjoying the, the very fact of creation of these videos. It had a place to be, but now I'm moving a little bit further. And I guess the people on my channel are the same open-minded people like me. And they will accept me in all my weird mm, expressions. Though, though they are not weird, believe me. Because I never share anything I never practice. I never will lie that something helps me when it's not helping me just to sell something. I'm very honest and I think that to be honest, never betray yourself, your path, is the only way of your heart which leads you to your goals. We always know where we lie to ourselves, where we use people for our purpose, for example, and so on. And that is why, finally, I had this conclusion that I should give up on hesitating whether I need to share this information or not. Because, you know, the theme of eating and nutrition is very hard to perceive for those people who are in uh, 3D, I will tell you. They perceive themselves as a body, physical body, which needs nutrients and so on. I don't judge because I was the same, but after enlightenment, when your consciousness um, expands and you see that you are energy, that you have no boundaries between the space and you, you are the whole space, you feel vibrations in all your limbs, um, organs, muscles, and so on, you just are and not at the same time. 
Neti neti, as they call it. I'm not this, I'm not that, who I am. I'm the like uh, original source of energy which coming through this body, which is um, c consists of atoms, subatoms, and all uh, these particles have a distance between them. That means we are pure energy. If we look, <laughs> zoom in deeper and deeper, we will see that we are energy. So it no surprises that people, I'm not the first who's speaking about this. But I want to speak about this in the practical, again, useful <laughs> approach. If God created this planet, that everything has a place to be, right? Uh, but I don't want to struggle like Jericho on fire, uh, the warrior Bruferian, the book he released and shared his horrific experience to um, about gradual shift from eating everything to fruitarianism and then finally to Bruferianism and how he struggled with everyone, with the society, all the real vegans, how was, he was defending his position, saying that no food is garbage, don't eat it and so on. I don't want to be this fighter because you, mm, I'm a very egoistic person. I never will uh, try to persuade anyone of anything because I know that this is useless uh, spending of time and my energy. And I have another purposes in life. I'm very social active now. I'm playing guitar, singing, and I will do everything to achieve my goals in the best manner, of course, uh, developing my skills and so on. And I use all tools, which I share with you on this channel for my life, first of all, I'm doing this for myself. And then I'm very glad that you are writing me a bunch of letters each day and um, thanking me. Uh, so. Since now on on my channel, from time to time, I don't know how, by inspiration, I will be sharing my experience of, um, let's call it not eating, life with very small quantities of food, my stamina, how I feel, why I feel, and so on. <laughs> it's very interesting just to listen, uh, like, you don't have to apply it in your life, just maybe you will reconsider some of your nutrition habits and so on, or you will also, like me, uh, dream about immortality, not even dream, but research and check on yourself how you can reprogram your avatar to rejuvenate, which I see uh, on my body. <laughs> Let's start. Okay. Uh, I shared this small video recently uh, about the factors that can affect our life prolongation and um, immortality. But now I want to uh, dive deeper into each point and share only my experience, what I know, what I feel right now. Uh, first of all, since my childhood, I remembered that I had no interest in uh, food consumption at all. To that degree that uh, when I was sitting on my mother's knees and she was feeding me with porridge, uh, holding the spoon, um, I remember that I was eating only to see what, is, uh, what picture is in the bottom of the plate. I wasn't interested in food intake and for energy or for something at all. Um, when I was growing, my mother, you know, she has four children, four daughters, and I'm the smallest. So my mother was spending all her life in the kitchen and buying products and this old stuff. And, you know, I hated meat so much to that degree that I was chewing something like, for example, pork and running to the toilet like, Mom, I finished my meal and I was spitting out uh, because I didn't want to disappoint my mother. I saw how she works a lot to feed us. I had a lot of... Um, issues with my health since very childhood, though I was very energized, dancing and singing all the time, but I had allergies on all products, especially citruses. Um, they were everywhere. I was like itching, all my body was itching and it made me suffer so much. Uh, and also I was getting sick monthly. My mother was worrying about me, taking me to all doctors and so on. I was a professional sport dancer before and my career stopped only due to food. Because I was eating a lot, my di digestive system couldn't uh, digest all this capacity of foods, and eventually being clogged uh, with food, I stopped absorbing nutrients with my intestines. It was very clogged, and I gained dystrophy of second type and very low hemoglobin, and I managed to dance somehow in these states. But when I was lying in hospital for two weeks, they injected me uh, ferrum, in my ass <laughs> and made several like, big enemas and cleansed my intestines. In two weeks, of course, my intestines started to absorb all nutrients again. And then I grew a very beautiful lady. Uh, but uh, I, since the teenage, I felt that food affects me badly, though I wasn't thinking that this is not normal. Everyone eats and everywhere you see food and no one even doubts the thing that food, even fruits, 
no matter rule, no, not rule, intake causes some imbalance in our perfect bodies. Our avatar, Electra by a robot, as I see it now. So I was searching for all things that can help me to raise my hemoglobin. Though I was consuming meat, it wasn't helping me at all. Uh, I hated meat, but I ate it only for hemoglobin. I had this silly conception. Everyone was saying about this. I was uh, relying on doctors as everyone. We are in this system. Um, I don't want to fight against this system. I just want you to understand that there are another options. And my curiosity led me to investigations of uh, life without food. In 2014, and real veganism, when I um, was asking myself how I can raise my energy for learning playing guitar, because after working log as logistics specialist at Toyota, I had no capacity um, at all to play guitar. And it pissed me off because I wanted to be on stage. I was an artist all my life. And I keep on being an artist. Even my channel is arts as I see it. I'm like an actor or performer uh, everywhere I'm going. This is my type of uh, Myers-Briggers, ENFG, if you all know this system. I'm teacher and I'm actor. So I was trying to express myself but I, I had this conception that by uh, making only music, I won't gain money, as all of you, and I was a logistics specialist. And I was trying to understand how I need to raise my energy. I became real vegan in one day, threw out all products from my fridge, and I was a very fanatical, uh, radical, uh, oriented real vegan, like, you are lied, stop consuming meat, processed food, it like make you uh, feel uh, sick every month, it uh, makes uh, like mucus in you, your coffin, and yes, for sure, it's truth. But you know, the approach uh, of how I took this path was completely wrong. And why, I will explain now. First point that will help you to shift to lighter forms of nutrition or not to be so addicted to nutrition is, of course, enlightenment and shift from 3D perception of reality to 5D. What is 3D? Again, uh, if you had no experiences of Samadhi, spiritual awakening, in simply words, uh, 3D is our normal overthinking mind commenting everything everywhere you go. This is bad, this is good, and you are dependent on um, outside circumstances that are bringing you different emotions. And through these assessments, you have concrete emotions, and then you suffer because you are very attached to these emotions that triggers your programs, which are installed in your psyche and your neural connections since childhood, because we are all like machines, bio-robots, which can be reprogrammed to anything. Jody Spencer <laughs> tells about it. It's the matter of our brain work, alpha waves, where we have another perception. And as I understood and discovered a lot of neurophysiologists, researchmen, and so on, when we shift to 5D by training our attention in the moment and thoughts on the background, we like change this um, perspective of what we perceive. Uh, we have no evaluations. We have bright picture. We are inside the whole film and we just contemplate what is happening. That's all. And the very fact that your mind is calm and it doesn't torture you with thoughts and assessments, not taking your energy anywhere, you become the source of... Um, free expression. You're not controlling people. You accept lifestyle of everyone surrounding you. I noticed it when I'm going in 5D. I love unconditionally everyone. Very People who suffer obesity with huge bodies, uh, people who are smoking, people who are drinking alcohol. I don't care. Like they are part of this whole script and whole scenario. I'm inside this movie and this movie is so tasty. And uh, instead of emotions that we experience in 3D, we have sensual perception of reality. So it means, oh, I have goosebumps. You perceive reality as if you under some kind of... Um, <laughs> won't be uh, like agitating for taking this thing because you don't need it. You can, uh, your pineal gland can produce with the practice of Kundalini Yoga, all stuff, um, and be your endogenous drug supplier. Uh, you experience so great sensations in the moment, time ceases to exist. You feel that you, your body is breathing, you have orgasmic sensations, vibrations, and in this state, of course, you don't need any doppings. You don't want to receive these um, short sensations in the form of emotions to calm down, to have any kind of pleasure in this life. That's why I'm saying that not eating is, and immortality and so on, superabilities are only for 
people who are going out of 3D space and enlightened. The perception is totally different. Though you may be doing the same things, well, cats, uh, like, you know, this story about chopping woods, the, uh, they asked the monk, what were you were doing before enlightenment? He said, I was chopping wo woods and bringing water. And what are you are doing after enlightenment? The same things. Uh, the same things for me. I was not going astray, as I understand, because I do love teaching people. I do love to help them. At the same time, I do love singing and uh, have big goals on stage. That's why I'm using not eating to gain energy and to be in 5D completely and uh, stabilize in this state. I know that sleep deprivations and not eating, deprivations are following after not eating because when you are not uh, eating, you had no uh, like necessity to digest things while you are sleeping. So uh, sleep deprivation uh, comes naturally. At least your sleep will be decreased. And even one time a day of your favorite meals, even, I don't mind if you, even if you will be eating one hum hamburger a day. The autophagy process during this inter intermittent fasting will lead you to the idea that you will be sleeping four hours a day. Sadhguru, you know Sadhguru, he is an enlightened master, of course. For sure, he is entity who chosen to stay on planet, meow, Herman, just to help humanity. I see this, that the level of consciousness in that body is super high. So uh, Sadhguru says that he sleeps only three or four hours and the sleep is not deep, it's like mm, half lucid dreaming and so on, self-aware, even uh, at your night's sleep. And he said that he has a bunch of energy. You know, in his age, it would be very difficult to relocate so often daily meetings and so on. So it's proven 100% that the rarely you eat, your body gets used to this and it learns to, to receive all nutrients uh, at its own expense. I had two herbal cleansings. First 90 days, second one month, Alchemy of Health program, which I also suggest you, because I know it works. It totally um, uh, killed my craving to sugar, completely. In May, I'm very sincere, <laughs> I was eating uh, like this protein bars at Elana Ezerman house. <laughs> she is, <laughs> she's a witness. And then when I relocated to Austin in June, I was sitting on mango with avocado smoothies only for two weeks. Witness is my roommate that I wasn't eating anything during two weeks, only one smoothie a day. Then mango became very sweet for me. Only because uh, herbal cleansing made me, ma killed all uh, fungus structures in me. This kind of, mm, like, not parasites, but pathogenic microbiota which, of course, is our helper when we eat everything. It helps us to digest meat and different types of worms living in our intestines, our helpers, because if not they, we would be dead to consume dead bodies, which are very hard to digest. So they're helping us at some moment, but we are also getting sick of them. We have mucus all the time and so on. Our bodies, by the high temperature we experience when we uh, catch cold, help us to burn this mm, infection and when you like uh, trying to decrease your temperature by taking cold drinks or hot ram, <laughs> you totally stop these natural processes of your immune system. So this is a huge topic. And believe me, I have all arguments, though I don't want to spend time on it. I just want to give you practical things. If you will have this experiment, you will feel that your body is clean after herbal cleansing or animals, wherever you choose. You know, I'm not insisting, I'm showing my experience. Without herbs, it was very hard for me to eat once, once a day, and I was still consuming chocolate and so on. I couldn't get rid of it. Now, my nutrition is one cup of coffee, maximum two a day with oat milk, one avocado, <laughs> one corn in microwave, and broccoli. That's all. And cold-pressed olive oil sometimes. I don't need salt. I have no puffy face in the morning. My skin uh, looks much more beautiful than before. I rejuvenated my body. My skin is very mild. I feel that I'm clean inside. Uh, and this is, I started this process about a year ago when I intuitively after coronavirus felt that something goes wrong with this reality and maybe we will have some great shift. I don't want to uh, like uh, feel you afraid of something. I know that in America it's very cool, everyone sings and enjoys life, uh, luckily. But you know, for your health, for your energy, for only your goals, this lifestyle is super. Just imagine, while everyone sleeps eight hours a day, 
you are doing things. You develop your additional skills. You know, I attended a lot of um, uh, like master classes, psychoanalysis courses, everything that you're interested in. You have this uh, energy to discover new skills more and more because when we have this extra energy, we immediately begin to create. This is a very gradual, smooth process. On my stage, I know people who are not eating and drinking water for two years. On my stage, I'm, I'm shifting closer and closer to liquids. Herbal teas, maybe I will leave coffee. Like my body leads me. I'm not doing anything out of my mind conception. Yes, maybe the destination is the, the highest point. Whoa, how big, big muscles I have on avocado <laughs> nutrition. Uh, maybe the final destination would be preferianism. I don't know. Maybe I will be avocado eater all my life because my body was built for consuming avocado. <laughs> I don't think so, but this is not the main idea. It's not about eating or not eating. It's about energy and your life perception. If you want to uh, like stabilize yourself in high vibrations and experience this another percep perception of reality through sensations, the deep sensual perception of reality and each moment without thinking, without anxieties, evaluations, suffering, self-hesitations, uh, insecure, fears are gone. So all our programs seems to switch off when we shift to 5D. It's a miracle, you know, it's like in, in the movie with Jim Carrey, Mask, when he was, <laughs> at night he was super <laughs> macho man, even with this green face, <laughs> ugly green face, he was very attractive. And when he was like normal person who is not aware of his uh, super abilities, he was like gloomy all the time, although very uh, smart and pretty boy. Yeah, I love Jim Carrey, he's enlightened by the way. And of course, uh, hesitations, mm, not trust is only in 3D. When I was on 3D, you know, I was so uh, hesitating that my body will, will lose weight. This was my uh, main fear, even to start this rare food intakes. And I was losing weight, uh, and now I stopped losing weight, and even I'm gaining weight out of nothing. Uh, no medical uh, like examinations could um, logically explain from where I gain energy. I know that there was an experiment with Joss Muheen, which uh, was failed, and they said, ah, she's a liar. She had like uh, all her preferanism were gone when she was uh, living in this cage, controlled by people like, you know, this experimental animal. If I ever shift to preferanism, will be stabilized. Uh, if someone will pay me like several millions of dollars, I'm ready to have cameraman and make reality show. <laughs> but maybe I will have this idea for seven people and um, but who am I lying? Uh, the thing is that Matrix, our system, won't ever allow such people to speak freely. They will be saying, ha, huh, he's a liar, so keep on sleeping deeply. Keep on consuming everything and getting sick. Just buy very expensive medical insurance and visit a doctor, then you will feel safe. But this is, believe me, illusory of uh, your safety body condition. The only way is to become doctor to yourself and feel how your body feels. Do you feel heaviness, constipations, gases? What is happening in your intestines and why? What products are beneficial for you or not? Are you uh, like coughing like old crazy bitch, as I like to say, in the morning with, ah, with mucus and so on? I have no mucus. Even if you will look at my videos with Kundalini Yoga filmed three years ago, you will uh, notice that I'm drinking water with lemon like crazy. And also I'm breathing like this. Ah, ah. And now I'm not breathing at all. My breath is very shallow and it's made by stomach. Yogic breath. Inhale, stomach inflates like a little bit, not noticeable. And with the uh, exhalation, returns back. This is completely different pattern of breath, which is correct. It makes all our bodily systems work correctly. Our metabolic processes go uh, in positive way. As people who are not eating, saying that, guys, like getting rid of food and water is only one step. It's like to grow up from kindergarten, kindergarten to maturity, like to become adult. And you know, many people after enlightenment think that this is ultimate goal. Um, you're just not suffering anymore like you were suffering and you can stop on this process and live the life you lived before. But of course, your uh, food intake will decrease and sleep as well. These are consequences of enlightenment anyway, anyway. But one Breatharian was asked why after enlightenment not all people shift to Breatharianism. It's so like natural for them to be in this dimension where you accept this column of light through your body, all your cells vibrating and so on. You have this transcendental states permanently. 
she said, guys, people love to eat. For example, some very uh, high-level masters were consuming sometimes meat. Uh, I don't remember who concretely, but he was eating like crazy and annoyed his wife, though he was master of very big level. He was telling his wife that if not food, I will fly away. But for my body, um, I do love uh, another sensations. I feel when I'm empty, I'm very energized. I have a lot of energy to share. I'm grateful permanently. I'm not suffering. I never roll back to my victim pattern. And I'm very curious, what, what next? So for what you need this path? Me, for achieving my goals, to be honest. To have time for playing guitar, because our life in America is very expensive. And I want to do many, many things I was dreaming about. To, for example, um, create my perfumes. I, I do love uh, different uh, smells. And many, many, many goals. I have a big list. For all these goals, I need, first of all, a very healthy body, very clean, pure, with a lot of energy and capacity, uh, stabilized psyche, and a lot of years of life. Not 70, not even 100. It's not enough for me. And I was, you know, I'm so happy that this reality works like this. You can find confirmation on any belief you have. <laughs> and when you discover, for example, that some people are not eating, you discover more and more and more hundreds of such people. In Russia, there is a whole community of such people. Yes, they have a bags, they eat from time to time, but to eat once a month is not eating three times a day, you know? So um, it's possible. It's possible to even live without food and sleep or only without sleep, but eating once a day and no such girl as well. You can choose whatever your body leads you to. Uh, and everything that will help you to be productive and to achieve your goals. Not eating for not eating isn't, it's very silly. To be honest, it's silly uh, because it's only, for example, to like um, prove that you're your ego that you worth like i am living only on avocados and not every day who will give me a medal or million dollars for this they're giving us what we share with people our knowledge information our time our generous sharing of love unconditional love like ideal option <laughs> our creativity arts and so on we exchange with each other and this exchange bring us um, joy and more love inside <laughs> so shifting to even deeper to immortality and uh, conditions that lead us to, like, theoretically to this uh, state of body and consciousness. Uh, everyone who is on breatharianism, not eating um, uh, for a very long period, uh, they say that you discover such abilities, like, for example, you start seeing portals. Portals is uh, like a column of um, energy which is standing next to you. You can see it in your apartment, uh, in the forest, and you have this like sensation connection to this portal and you understand that you can enter this portal for multidimensional trips. I know that it's, un it's unbelievable <laughs> and I haven't seen these portals, but they share. I, I'm just sharing what I heard and whom I trust because this person, I'm sure, absolutely adequate. They're not selling silly services. They generously share. They don't need this like lies for what. They're not like, Woodoo, woodoo. I see who lies, you know. I'm, I'm very skeptical in many things. Uh, second thing they uh, say of teleportation, when your body disassembles in one point and assembles, uh, for example, in the another room. One girl shared that she found herself in, other, in, in another room at one second and she, her mind afterwards was saying, what was it? Like, I teleported there? So it happens... Mm, not so controlled if you are not skilled in this, like any skill. Levitation, one girl uh, who now, who is not sleeping, she lives in Monaco, not sleeping for two years, she was levitating in very high state where you don't need to show this levitation to people. Well, see, my body is off the ground. I'm cool, marry me. Categories of thinking is not as in 3D when we shift in this unconditional love and perception of acceptance of all things. So you even have no assessments or, or even desire to share. I know this state for sure. You know, you don't have any desires, urge to prove anything. That's why she said, I levitated, I was in this state. And then she honestly said, I'm living for luxury life. You know, this is her game. We are in the game. All games are acceptable. Game of a bomb, game of prostitute, game of killer, game of someone who is a soldier on war. It's also experience of consciousness. That's why I never um, will claim on politics or I feel that this game happens, right? But it's not, it's not my game. I don't want to be involved there. And I know that my purpose uh, in this avatar is to be happy. 
to make other people happy with my arts, with expression of my voice, and so on. I don't want to save the world, to make revolution of consciousness everywhere. I know that not everyone will uh, awaken. Maybe it's like uh, the, um, the work we've done during our past lives. Because for me, enlight enlightenment took only three months. Uh, I agree uh, with the conception when we have 90 days for rewiring of our neural connections. Maybe because of this. I was desperately willing to enlighten and to wake up. I was suffering to hell. I said, oh my God, I hate this life. I have a choice to be depressed and uh, be on emotional swings, devaluing myself, experiencing this hell daily, or I will be staring at my arms, lying in my bed. I will be listening to such things daily. I will be going for long walks for like seven miles, listening to some such things, again, books, and uh, staring at, contemplating nature and the picture itself. And then the window is opened and I see the light in the end of corridor, as you see <laughs> there. And I'm so happy now that I'm keep on going next and next and next. Everyone can uh, follow this path, though, in a little bit different decorations. The people uh, I meet in my um, last year are only for me. They are like me. And it's so even strange. But for me, it's not strange because we create our reality out of our inner settings and how we perceive. If we re resist, resist the reality, complain, we will have a lot of uh, like confrontations around us and the world will be hell. It will be not safe place to live in, believe me. And you're not afraid if you trust yourself, trust your space, trust God, and God we trust, whatever you call it. Everyone uses different language even for uh, some like this um, conception, concept as a God. God is a concept by which we measure our pain, <laughs> John Lennon. And his uh, son, genius son, image and all the people. Yeah, he was a dreamer. I also dream, of course, I want to shift to the planet where they won't be killing animals, where everyone will be expressing their talents freely and everyone will be accepting the difference of other person to express himself. And everyone will love himself unconditionally knowing that you are so unique, your eyes, your uh, shapes, your body, body as it was created originally by the God mm, is absolutely uh, gorgeous and you don't need to make anything with your appearance to be beautiful and to be in this race for alpha man or alpha woman and their money and so on. Our system totally sucks and I really don't know what will happen be happening on the planet but I wish that it's only for the better that this transition we're facing now will be more smoothly, not so harmful, that more people will self-realize, they will reconsider what their lives and how they live, stop complaining and saying that everyone is guilty, but not they, and they will start the work from within, um, and will have made, like big goals, not as, I want a family, I want to get like old, and that's all. Like, I live the lot, I don't need to live anymore. You know, I understand these people, when you have very weak body, of course you don't want to spend in this body a long time. Of course you want to reincarnate or fly away from this planet, just close your eyes and not see and experience this pain in, in your body anymore. I totally understand. And I didn't want to age. You know, when I was a little girl, I was looking at my mother. She had four children and she has had cellulite overweight. My genetics, if to be honest, is fat to be fat, as they say. Your genetics is super cool. That's why you are skinny. No, guys, my mother was overweight all her life. My grandmother as well. Uh, and if I follow the path, uh, maybe I would have the same. The choice is I made was not being overweight to rejuvenate and so on. And I would, like a kid, I was uh, even suffering out of this thought that I will age one day. And it brought me so big suffering. I was suffering so hard. I was very fragile in my psyche and very sensitive to my body. I was hypochondric, like, no, I want to stop this suffering. Everything led me to what I am now, you know? Preservanism is absolutely for me and my body. This is my decision. I know that I will be there. It doesn't matter when, one year after, because I had this rapid shift during the last one and a half year I'm practicing very smoothly. I even don't go to, for long fastings. The difference between fasting and breatharian is it's like uh, night and day, you know? Because on fasting, you feel yourself draining your energy, you experience detox symptoms, you feel headaches and so on, and you are in your mind, in your thoughts and so on. In 5D, you are breatharian. Your body shifts right away without suffering, without weakness. Uh, vice versa, you feel energized, you feel yourself as a whole space and so on. So it's not about fasting. It's not about fasting. 
our consciousness makes this, I believe. It makes uh, the some special settings of our avatar, even sometimes sp spontaneously, shift into this type of consumption of prana out of the space um, automatically. And we cannot control, maybe there are techniques, there are masters, preference who teach how, but again, the path is very individual. For example, I heard the story of one girl who just uh, had a talk <laughs> with her aunt uh, while drinking tea, and aunt said, you know, for example, Anna, some people live in without food. And at the very moment, Anna realized that this information is inside her DNA, inside her cells. And she also can do, like, you know, like insight, like a shift. Maybe past lives or some other experiences. I don't know. But as a result, she got rid of food intake right away and she didn't experience any cleansing processes. Of course, maybe some mucus was coming out, intestines will keep on cleansing because we have these clogged uh, intestines and so on. And she shifted. She experienced unconditional love. She was crying from happiness. I also had a walk mm, two days before I was sharing rainbow in my stories on Instagram. And I experienced like, oh my God, I wanted to scream because I love, love, love everything I see. I love, each my cell is love, and be, not because I'm in love with someone, it's another source of love, it's like straight connection to the higher source or, or what it is, which everyone can experience. <sighs> I'm so inspired to move next, I know that it's not harmful for my body because I'm not fanatic, I have very tolerate uh, attitude to anyone I accept and respect the path of each person I meet. Uh, because I know that everything is temporary. Today I'm speaking of preferenism. After a year I will be speaking how to become immortal. And I won't be surprised. Um, if you believe in these abilities to rejuvenate yourself, you will. I know one girl, Russian speaking again, sorry. <laughs> she is half um, African. And she's sick, around 60. She eats like ordinary person. But of course with some diet. But I know that she eats fish even. She has a technique of energy balls. Like she perceiving like the balls of ether making massage of her cheeks and she is in this alpha state of consciousness and she makes her skin pure and I'm doing this technique and you know what I see results but only because I believe in it happens only what you believe in and this is the main rule and this is regarding everything rejuvenation your success if you, uh, depends on your goals for example for me to be honest, I love comfort, I love cool things, perfumes, dress myself, change images, but I'm not mm, so fixed on money. I don't want to become a billionaire or build a corporation. I'm not like a businessman. This is my path. But I want to travel the world. I want to perform. I want to unite with people uh, who are singing, dancing, uh, filming something together, creating, helping each other, experiencing some mm, up and downs and so on. I love uh, to be an actor in this film. And yeah, there are different ways. Um, the truth, Satnam, truth isn't me. Only you know how and what you need. What I can help you with is only to guide you, to consultate you on some aspects. I can help you to see your mental programs, which keep you from going further to your dreams, for example. I can help you with cleansing your body. My naturopathic doctor, she's professional, she knows how all bodily system works, she cures people of cancer and so on, uh, drug addicted uh, people, mm, she <laughs> managed to make her parents get rid of uh, alcohol and cigarettes and shift to very light forms of nutrition and this is her mission, for example, to shift someone who needs to not eating because you know she's in Moscow in Russia and now uh, uh, maybe in Russia there will be starvation, for example, such kind of scenario is... Uh, unfortunately people facing and this is like you know <clears throat> like apocalyptic thing there but no one guarantees that here in america will uh, like start something like this i intuitively know that we uh, the life is changing and we are going to the light we are going to evolution of consciousness and to be parasites for our planet we just cannot keep on living the way we live that's why all these processes uh, sound very not um, humanistic, but at the same time, they maybe they have a right to be as a part of spiral dynamics of our history. I see it like this, uh, so I have global vision of the processes and I accept everything because I'm not God. God knows better how our planet should shift and where. Uh, so I can help you uh, in the framework of marathons. You doing 
Kundalini, which also helps you to alkaline your body to get rid of cravings, food addiction, and so on. At the same time, I'm giving you information on how to work with your consciousness. I can help you, guide you to enlightenment, to this shift of perception. I also can... Uh, depends on what theme is uh, you're suffering from. If these are relationships, then I'm very skilled in relationships. Uh, feeling your body, connection with your body. I have also some uh, like uh, scanning psychic abilities from, since childhood. I was like, you know, indigo ch child since my ch childhood. Mm, by the way, you know, I checked how my aura looks like, what color I have. I don't see like, you know, angelic beings. It's not about me. I'm very uh, scientifically approached and practitioner and researcher more about quantum physics. This, this is my topics. I don't see any creatures. I'm not speaking to angels. Angelic language is not about me. But uh, I heard some kind of idea how you can check the um, color of your aura. You need to concentrate on some light. Maybe it will be uh, like usual light in your room or sun, but be careful to look at the sun during 30 seconds. And then you close your eyes and the spot of light you will see, the color of the spot in front of your eyes, this is the color of your aura. It's very interesting. I have very like aquamarine, very uh, like, I don't know what to show you <laughs> the case <laughs> from my heart. Indigo color, the, the aura, my aura is this. So someone, healers, definitely should have green aura. Check it out and share in comments what you saw. Uh, so I'm here to your, for your service. I know that my services is not, are not so cheap, but I appreciate all work I've done on myself and I invested a lot of money on what I started regarding psychoanalysis, for, for example, and many things, rejuvenating techniques also I bought. From some girl because I saw that the thing uh, is working on her <laughs> somehow. So I also, with my life, I want to be example on how you can achieve uh, this or that and you will believe that it's possible. The main idea, it's possible. <laughs> I'm very crazy when I'm high in 5D. I'm so energized that I want to make fun of everything. I just want to play guitar, sing, walk for miles, not sleep and, and so on. I wish you also will stop suffering uh, from lack of energy and you will understand where you want to invest your energy. Maybe there are several things, fields uh, of activity, but you know, when we are um, in very um, in not resourceful state, we don't know what we want. This is it. And I help, will help you definitely to get rid of everything that like keeps you from uh, cleansing your structures, energy and your body and to understand where your path is. So, and what I wanted to say, and I will shoot a separate video next week regarding um, creating a Telegram channel, Closed Society, where I want to try online Zoom classes, but on monthly uh, paid basis. You know, for example, um, like payment for those who buy my services, $100 a month for those who didn't buy any services of mine, $150, all in all, for, um, all, in all eight classes a month to times a week uh, all classes um, are being shared inside this closed telegram group and uh, if you skip some lesson you can do it afterwards and ask your questions in chat i want to build this uh, community because you know I, I don't understand what is my audience still are these only yogis someone uh, says that they had an, uh, the same um, attitude towards nutrition and the same idea of what, who we are uh, that we are electro bio robots who produce energy out of movements I forgot to mention this. And so on. I have a lot of stories from people who were meeting immortal people. In our society, they will, won't be understood. And no one will believe because it's out of our conceptions and programs we are taught since childhood. So I completely understand. The very idea of that I can eat so less quantities of food and not losing weight was weird for me even one year ago. So what's next? This is a solution and very cool journey. So in the description, you can find tap link where you can find any types of services you need from me. Um, also, can, like maybe you will have some considerations regarding platform on which I should start this online classes, whether it's Zoom or YouTube and so on. But I think that I need Telegram group where I will be uh, downloading these classes. I want more uh, communication with you. Uh, also, I had a lot. I have a lot of creas which. Uh, I uh, will be uh, filming, of course, sometimes, maybe exclusively 
uh, but I want to like share them before this <laughs> with you, with the members of this close to the grand group. So the main idea is to be true to yourself, stay true and kind, the rest is never mind. If you have any questions, write me in the comment below. Love you all. Satnam. Thank you for your attention. Have a great day.